Okay, so um, one of the things that we need to know how to do is to take measurements, right? Now we've talked about the ruler thing, right? Here's this question. This is a ruler, a length of a, a whatever, a metal strip or whatever, and I'm asking you to give me a, a measurement here. And so this one we've done before, and we can go over this one first. The length here seems to match up with the ruler right about there, okay? So when we're taking a measurement, you take all of the um, for sure numbers that you know for sure, and then you make one more guess with one more digit, okay? So you shouldn't, you guys shouldn't probably be working too much on your Chromebooks. This is not in your notes, so just look up here for now, okay? Um, so this right here, we've got 11. We know that this is past 11, right? We know that it's past 11.5. We know that it's past 11.6. So I know for sure that it's at least 11.6 centimeters. Now if I zoom in here, okay, so we don't know exactly where the end of this metal strip lands, but it lands somewhere between 11.6 and 11.7, right? 11.6 right here, and here is 11.7. So we know it, it lands in between there somewhere. So I can make a guess on one more uh, digit. Oops, where are we at here? Let's, there we go. So I can make a guess on one more digit. So I'm going to go 11.6 now. To me, that looks like just a little bit less than halfway. So I'm going to say four centimeters. Okay, so you can go to all of the certain digits plus one uncertain digit. All right. Now, the focus here is this one here. So this type of question, um, we haven't talked about yet in this particular class. And so when you're reading um, a, uh, an amount of water on a graduated cylinder, this is a graduated cylinder, there are some things you want to look at here. Now this diagram uh, doesn't show it greatly, but when you look really closely at uh, the level of water in a graduated cylinder, first of all, it's going to appear curved like this. And that's because the glass is curved, there's some refraction of light that's happening at different rates when it's coming directly to your eye. And so it's good, not going to look flat, it's going to look curved, like this. Okay. Also what you're going to see, and again this is going to be a little difficult for me to, to do, I'll try and get the thinnest pen I can possibly get here. But there's going to be a bit of um, the surface of the liquid is going to look like it has two layers. Okay, it's going to look like this. And this is called, right here, this is called a meniscus. Meniscus. Okay, that's kind of the, the bi-layer of water that you can kind of see. And so when you look really closely, and again, I don't know, again, you guys in the class here are not going to probably benefit from this too much, but I'm going to hold it right up to the, to the screen here, to the camera, and you might be able to see this on the video, but that there's kind of two layers. And for this particular amount of water here, and I'm going to pass it around to the class, but I believe this one was, this is exactly 54 milliliters. So what you should do is you should put it on your desk and you should get right at eye level to the, to the water, and get it down at eye level, and you'll see that it, it kind of has two layers and it, it bends like this. And so you, you take the measurement from the very lowest point, okay? The, the lowest point, which was right about here, okay? So this measurement, if you were looking at this measurement here, you would say this would be, and I'm going to say this, 3 point, now this is 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so this is 3.4, 3.4, and you can go one more number. So maybe a 3.4, and then guess one more, 5 maybe. 3.45, okay, and that would be, looks like milliliters. So that one that's going around is 54. The top layer is at about 55, the bottom is at 54, okay? So just so you know. Now, there's this one here. This is a beaker, that's a graduated cylinder. This is a beaker, and this is a 1,000 milliliter beaker. And so you'll see here, when I pass this around, that the graduations there, there's not very many. There's like 100, and then there's 150, and then there's 200. So there's nothing in between 50 and 100 there. So it's not very exact at all. And so with this one, and what I'll do is I'll zoom back out here, and perhaps I'll just draw this over here. Here's my beaker. And I've got, you know, 100, 
I've got 150, and I've got 200, and so on, 250, then 300. So with this one right here, and if you look carefully at this one right here, it's just under 300. So I can only guess, see, I can guess three, um, I can guess 350 for sure, or I can guess 300 for sure, or 250 for sure. Anything in between there, I can add one more number, but that's, um, well, actually, I have to add the, the uncertain number has to be here, I guess. Okay? So it's more than 350, or this one is more than 250, but less than 300. So I can only guess right here. This is the number. So you would say, and this one will go around, and I think this one is, let me just take a quick look here. Uh, this one would be about 280. You can only say this one is about 280 because it's right here. Okay. So I'm guessing this one's about 280. So you can take this one, pass it around, take a look at it. Okay. Does everyone see that? This one's 54 mils, and that one would be about 280. That's all you can do. Okay. Any questions so far about that? Okay, so as that goes around, you can just take a look at that one as well. Now, um, I do want to take a look at a question like this right here as well. So this is the final thing, really, that we haven't covered yet in this particular course.